Hi guys. Hi Sue. Hi to New York. Thank you for joining. Okay, all right, I'm live. So I'm on the safe side. Welcome, welcome, my friends. Hi Sissy. Oops, I'm missing my messy bun, so I'm losing my glasses. My messy bun is usually my hi my nase my glasses stopper so um guys thank you so much for joining me for those who don't know me my name is uh, angela i'm the online creative energy behind elfen und helden i'm an elite retailer for Dixie World paints over here in frankfurt in germany instagram i'm going to pop you over uh in frankfurt in germany also the german distribution for Dixie Bell. so i'm happy that you're joining me today um today the world is a little bit upside down at the moment because i'm going to paint the legs from our um, Terra little nightstand piece. I'm happy now with the texture we added. Adding texture is, is a process. You can't do that in whatever, one hour. This is just layering paints and things like that. So, but I'm happy the way it looks now. So it's time to look after the legs. And for the legs I've chosen um, from the Moonshine Metallics, the Steel Magnolia. Who knows me knows it's my favorite, my absolute favorite metallic. It's in between gold and silver and it's ever so beautiful. I've already painted the legs with the um, desert tan to give it a nice base. Um, it makes easier for the coverage. You can see a, a dash of that color there. That's the color we also used on top. Guys, when you join me, just say hi to me. I'm still having my vest on. You were so cold today. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for joining. It was absolutely frozen this afternoon here. It is 8 p.m. over here, so I don't know what the time is where you're watching from. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring you closer so you can have a little better look, maybe. Bring it a little down, maybe even a little bit closer. Sorry if I make you sick, guys. Hope you brought your travel medicine or medication. I don't know what's it called in English. Michelle, you're my translator. So on this side, I already um, added one coat of the... <laughs> I love this with Balbida Summer. My sweetheart says he hopes that there will be uh, summer soon. So do I. I'm absolutely frozen. And it's only, you know, just about six degrees, so it's uh, not too bad, honestly. Hello, Nicole. Schön, dass du da bist. So, Munja Metallics. Um, also on chalk bases, they um, are water-based. Mix them up nicely. Shaky, shaky. So, I've already used quite a lot of that, as you can see. Such ever such a pretty color, absolutely adorable. And as the Terra clay paints are water-based, I'm first gonna give it a bash all the way around, stippling it onto the legs for the moonshine metallics to get a grip onto the Terra and the Muncha Metallics they have a built-in um, sealer so basically after that you don't need to seal your pieces so that's perfectly fine I will still need two coats with the Muncha Metallics um, you need about two to three coats for a complete coverage and if you lay down a complementary color, no complementary color, a, a, a color. Guys, I'm sometimes lost for words. My apologies. After all, I'm German. Um, a color which goes is pretty close to the moonshine metallics and it's easier for the coverage then. That's basically what I've done here. 
do that on the other leg. And yes, for a change, I taped around. They also have a self-leveling um, ability. If you paint with the Moonshine Metallics um, like a bigger piece and you want to have a streaky free finish, make sure that you brush in only one direction. You know, don't brush forth and back. Um, just brush in one direction and that'll, that'll do the trick. So now I have it on here. I gently smooth it out a little. If you want to have the stipples on there, you can leave it. If you want to have it a little um, smoother, you just smooth it out a little. Missed this there. There we go. So, and the, I don't know if you can really see that. Let me bring it a little closer. So there's still some. There's still some little areas not completely covered so i'm going to make sure they are in a second there's the second coat i'm going to leave that dry or let that dry and carry on on this side so and now the coverage is basically all over second coat I don't need to be that careful anymore with the terra clay paints because they are basically move around here I'm sorry guys because they basically are sealed in already with the first coat and this is just to give it a little bling I like textured and grungy pieces, but I also like um, I also like uh, a bit of a shiny bling bling finish. Who else does? Who else does? Or do you prefer it then all grungy? Let me do that. So they're like um, tapered, so to say. So I'm just brushing it gently up like this. Okay, second coat, complete coverage. Going to wait for the other side to dry before I do anything else there. Close up my paint. Probably will be dried after after I've done the live. So I'm going to put that brush into the plastic bag just to make sure the paint doesn't dry in my bristles. Hi Liz, hi to Vancouver. Michelle, you love the silver bullet. It's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, all colors are gorgeous. All colors are gorgeous from them. Never so nice and shiny. So, okay, now try to turn this thing over without getting paint all over me. Um, how am I gonna do that? Master of disaster at work. Thank God it's not that heavy. Okay, that was a bad idea. You see that? You see that? I had some glue. Some glue on there and it's taking the paint off. Did you see that? What I've just done? So don't do that. Don't paint it upside down and put a sealer on and let the sealer run underneath and dry on the paper. So that basically acted just now like um, like uh, um, like a tape. 
So, but that's no problem. As, as this is going to be a grungy piece anyway, I'm just going to use some of the marigold on those edges here. Hope you understand what I've just done here. There was, um, I've, um, I've sealed the whole piece already because I was happy with the, I was happy with the, the um, layering and I've sealed it and the sealer run because I also sealed the, the top laying on the, on my paper and you can still see there it is it hasn't dried it basically soaked in there and acted like a like a glue so but like this i can show you how you can do well how you can get out of that things happen for sure not only to me even i'm the master of disaster so i'm just Getting around with some paint here and just blending that back in. There wasn't a plan, but go with the work. Grab some of the desert tan. I should have known it, really. I mean, that was pretty obvious that something like that is going to happen. I'm in with the desert tan, just stipple it on there also, just to blend it in a little. That's basically what we've done before on those edges. And when I apply the transfer, I'm probably gonna go over it anyway with paint because I mean, this is a grungy piece, so I don't wanna have, I don't wanna have like perfect, um, perfect, like a perfect transfer on top. So I'm quite happy if this is going to be a little, oops, wrong one. There you go. Things don't run always smooth. Loose painting knows that. But anyhow, you could see on the rest last week, we've sealed the top. And the only reason that happened here is because because see, it's only um, sealed once on the top and the And the sealer basically soaked in on the side seal. Okay, probably gonna go over it again. Let's see what happens when that's dried. So another case of do as I say, not as I do. Leave that for now. But now we can go to the transfer. Slight change of plans again. Mm. Um, so it depends um, which paint you're using. If you are using the silk range from Dixie Bell or if you're using the, um, the uh, chalk mineral paints, uh, the paint doesn't need to be sealed. But the terra clay paint is very open porous and, um, and very, you know, chalky, you know. So therefore, it's a clay paint. It's a clay paint. And therefore... I have people being successful, uh, but this is something I don't want to take a risk for a chance. So I basically, uh, it's it's recommended to seal the terra clay paints before you use a transfer on top. So you're welcome. So the lotus embroidered lotus transfer is ever so beautiful. Ever so beautiful. I just love it. 
one. Careful, I'm not laying it into the paint. There are some bigger and smaller. This one comes twice, basically. That's twice. And then there's like just like some single leaves and of those embroidered um, lotus designs. And I was thinking I'm going to add on top. I'm going to add on top one of the bigger ones or maybe even two of the bigger ones. I thought about that on the drawers, but I don't see on the drawer in the front. I don't think I'm going to do that because I quite like the front like it is. But I think be careful, I'm not going to lay that into the paint now. Get everything out of the way. I'm going to have one in the middle, or basically two of the same one going this and that way. I think that's what I'm going to do. Having a bigger one, and I think I like. Which one do you like best? The bottom one or the top one? I think I like the bottom one if we take two. What do you think? Just let me know what you think. I'm going to prepare my scissors. scissors. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to say something more to the transfers in a second. I think I'm going to have that this way. And also, sorry for being off screen. I think I want to have those ones on here. What do you think? Hello, Anya. Bottom? Okay, bottom. Thank you. That's what I think. So that's the one we're going to use. <laughs> Next disaster coming up because I'm going to measure, guys. I am going to measure which is also per usual not very successful but again do as i say not as i do i want to have it <laughs> about about middle let's see side to the side and let's see I have one of those chalk sticks. This is chalk in there. I think um, Michelle Sava. Um, I think this is from sewing. Um, 57 divided by 2 is um, 56. 25, 20. I count. Twenty eight point five. 28, 28.5. Is that correct? Just making a little mark here. I can wipe that off in a second. 28.5. Am I counting correctly? 57 divided by 2. 28.5. <laughs> can't think it's late in the evening here it is it is what's the time 20 past 8 p.m p.m Just roughly, just roughly. You know me, double checking and it's wrong anyway. 
That's pretty much okay. <laughs> That's pretty much okay. That's pretty much okay also. So, now, so the transfers, let's get back to the transfers. You're very quiet. I shocked you, didn't I? <laughs> the transfers um, are basically self-adhesive foils. When you get it, the clear foil is only the carrier. <laughs> no. Well, Michelle, it can only go wrong, can't it? Um, the, the clear paper you see is only the carrier sheet for the foil and don't touch it on the back because this is adhesive and it will stick to your fingers. The white you see is only um, a protection sheet. So that doesn't glue anywhere. So there we go. When you lay that down, it's a bit high. I have to... When you lay that down, you about have to commit. This is about the middle of it. And is that about right? You paint on your fingers. If it's not completely perfect, it's it's not that bad, but I just want to have it about 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 that so when you place it down you have to eventually commit so i'm placing it down now there we go it comes with uh with one of those wooden sticks and that's basically to um to release it from the carrier sheet so what you do you I've started, I've just taped it down in the middle. It's already sticking there. You know, when you um, put it down, you have to commit basically. So I'm starting to rub gently. And it's recommended to either start in the middle, go to the outside or go from one side to the other side. Don't start this side, go to the middle and start the other side and go to the middle because when it, the transfer releases, it's, um, there is like, a, can you see that, um, that it gets like a little milky in those areas where I've already rubbed? That's basically where it's already releasing from the backing. And there's like an air bubble under there. So this air bubble, if it, you know, if it wanders underneath the, the foil to the middle, you may end up having a crease. That's what we don't want to have. So, but you can see how easy this is releasing now. If you find there is like some spots not coming off the paper, basically just lay it back down. I mean, lift it gently, not just rip it up and rub some more on those areas to get it basically down. So, but it releases really like butter. Then I'm doing basically the same thing to the other side and it helps. That's what I like to do anyway, is like lifting the paper up gently. If it's like too, you know, too much of the, the backing left, you can cut it off and um, go from there. You know, I'm just going to show you. Just cut it off and carry it on. All the same self release here. 
out of the way. And then you just carry on. So, and I like to just lift the edges because you can gently, because you can basically see where it has released, where it's not. Moving from the middle to the other side now. As I said, if there's like some pieces coming up, just lay it back down, rub a little more and you're good to go. You see, there's another piece not down, lay it back down. There you go. Small bits. Right there. There we go. All gone. All gone. Hi, Nina. Thank you for joining. So, okay. What I like to do, I just take my paper. I just said for where it was on to rub it in. You can use your fingers. I like to do it with that paper, just making sure it's nicely on there before I basically before I basically carry on with the um, the other part. So I avoid usually using my fingers because most of the times I do have. Um, I do have cream on my fingers and I don't want to have any cream getting on here. So, let's see. This one about opposite to that one. Does it look about right? I'm not measuring again. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit. So I'm going to show you when I go from one end to the other. I'm starting on this end now, not in the middle. I've laid it down here. Basically the same thing. If you have eventually some areas which are too close to the edge and to your paint, what you can do, you just take a piece of um, the clear backing, lay it over the edge, and you can rub like this also, you know. So then you don't need to be too careful to um, scratch your, your paint in case you slip off um, with your rubbing stick, if you slip off the, the carrier sheet. So, those are just some tips and tricks from me. You probably have some others, which I would love to hear if you have some, obviously. I mean, not what I do is all the time correct or the right way. Sometimes there's easier ways to do it, but and I think those colors go really well together. I'm just going to go to the other side. I'm going to use my pen for now because my arm gets a little slow. I'm right and left handed, guys. So. That's the nice thing, and stuff like that. I cannot write left-handed anymore. I wanted to do when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed at school, but painting and some other bits, a lot of times I do left-handed. 
And there is no day like the other. There are days. Um, this painting also. I'm switching from one hand to the other because I'm just. Nice and easy. It's releasing while I'm lifting the carrier sheet. These two quick lifting it up there. Down. There we go. So both on. I think they look pretty cute. Same thing. I should wrap that a little with my carrier sheet just to make sure I have all areas down. It is wonky that piece, so I have to fix the legs. legs. So, and then there is a step I never leave out. I always use one of my finishing pads by Dixieville. That's true. That's true. Finishing pad by Dixie Bell. It comes in a in a like spongy sanding thing sizes usually like this. You can cut it apart. What I've already done. It's like you can see it's nice and soft. And I like to use it for um, burnishing in the edges of the transfer. Sometimes I like to use the easy peasy to do that. But as the terra clay paints are water based and are reactivated, even I've sealed it. I'm going to do just like that. It also works very nicely. And this is basically to get rid of or make sure that the transfer is really, especially around the edges. You may see some little halos and when you use your finishing pad, you can basically eliminate those. So. All the way around and as I said I always do that because I really might want to make sure the transfer adheres to the adheres to the project especially Terra is um, you can paint like um, textured and this is basically Snuggling it right into the into the surface and into the massa massaging it into the texture and grooves of the terra paints. So this will be sealed. Even the terra paint was sealed. Paint was sealed before, but this will definitely be sealed because I don't want anything happening to the transfer. You can obviously seal it with wax, but as this is like um, the top of the table, this will be sealed. I'm going to decide if, uh, if maybe the terra tough because it's got like a little bit of a shiny finish. Or if I stay with the if I stay with the the flat finish. So what do you think? 
So the edges I have to work on a little more, the ones I've just messed up. That's the way it is. Sometimes you have to do that. But I think it's going to go pretty nicely with the whole thing at the end. This is the draw. I'm just going to put that back in for now. There you go. So you have like a full view. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. I'm going to think if I may do like a wash over it with the, with the desert tan, but certainly not tonight. So my friends, I hope you <laughs> enjoyed that. And uh, oh no, you can see it nicely. I'm going to show you from the sides also. There's some ray stenciling on the sides also. I quite like it the way it looks now. It's like all the colors in between. So I was thinking about doing some of the other um, on the front, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think everything else will be just too, will be just too much. My well, friends, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, this will be the last part of this project. And next week, we're going to start another one. I don't know which one yet, but um, it'll be the master of disaster again, guys, as per usual. So my friends, um, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm an elite retailer for Dixie Bell Paints over here in Frankfurt in Germany, also the German distribution for Dixie Bell. Um, if you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page and leave me a follow there. That'll be absolutely sweet. And I've got to be careful because I'm probably going to <laughs> touch the legs and get the paint out of me. If you haven't done it, please do that and follow me to not miss any of my disastrous works. <laughs> I sometimes do well. And I thank you so much for being with me tonight. You have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching from. It is um, 20 to 9 p.m. over here in Germany. So I'm going to let you go. Um, if you want to, you can join me tomorrow on my page. There will be some giveaways again. And I'm happy that you've been there tonight. You take care, guys. Tada! Bye bye. Sehr gerne, liebe Anja. And you, bye Michelle, bye everybody. Thanks for being with me.